Okay, so we're looking at the results here of the Pro Tracker working in Western Australia. Uh, the stubble that you can see was put down in 2013 and we're now in the season of 2014 and coming back and uh, working to uh, an accuracy of two centimetres. Okay, so we're just uh, trying to demonstrate here the Pro Tracker uh, placing canola seed into the moisture pathway that's placed there from last year's uh, stubble row. Uh, the machine has just passed. When he was heading in an easterly direction, we we're placing the canola seed into the furrow this way, and with the nudge function at the end of the furrow, he's come back the other way and placed the canola seed into the moisture zone of this uh, stubble row uh, from the opposite side. You can see if I dig, you can see the moisture in the row and dry between the row. And again you can see the moisture from the uh, moisture pathway from the previous year's stubble and furrow. So the Pro Tracker, with the Pro Tracker we're targeting those moisture pathways uh, with unsurpassed accuracy uh, plus or minus two centimetres. So the machine has just passed by and this is a good demonstration of um, us chasing the moisture zone from last year's furrow. As you can see we're looking at dry, almost non-wetting type soil between the rows uh, with a moisture zone in this area and then repeat it again on the next double row with a moisture zone in this area. And what we're attempting to do here is sow the canola, in this case, into the side of that row, into that moisture zone there, so that's the placement of canola. Okay, so here we are looking at the results of uh, Pro Tracker in Western Australia. We're looking at it over a two year period. The foundations were laid down last year in 2013 and that gave us a straight structure to work with to come back in the next year and this is the seeding of 2014. What we're hoping to do here is use the moisture bands from the 2013 season to place canola into the side of those rows. You can see behind me on the left is uh, a result of the Pro Tracker sowing on zero offset. That's uh, right on top of the, uh, the stubble rows. And uh, to your right, you'll see um, an offset of uh, five to six centimetres to the right. And with a conserver pack machine, it angles into the furrow. So um, that's what we're hoping to do is to, is to let's demonstrate to you here how we can sow into the side of the previous year's moisture band. Uh, the benefits of that are pretty obvious. If it's dry between the row and it's moist in the row, you'd be able to uh, get a germination up and away. Like anything, if it doesn't rain for another month, then, then you've got a month advantage in uh, germination of canola.